Welcome back to Metroid Prime 3, the final episode. Before we jump into the last, the, the, the last episode, I suppose, we got 100%, uh, about ready to finish everything. Let's go ahead and see everything that we're not going to be getting. Yeah, you had mentioned this. Uh... So, yeah, we, we, we got all the galleries here. Look at all these medals down here. 98 red, 51 blue, 22 yellow, but zero green, which means that we can't get anything that requires a green medal. We can get the Samus package here. That, that's, that's basically, that's, that's cheap. Yeah, it's just, you know, concept art, you know, hey, offic official pretty art nice. renders here. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Not too bad, not too bad. Got some cool suits there, but, you know, this creature package, this world package, can't get that. What is the world package anyway? It's just, I mean, it's not even that. It's, it's, it's just concept art for Elysia. Still cool, still cool. Still cool, yeah, but why, do, why is this locked behind friend vouchers? Why didn't they future-proof their game? There's no other way to get this stuff. I mean, it's a good thing that all these galleries are uh, are on the Metroid Wiki and uh, Retropixel, but all this stuff, all the cool stuff, can't get none of that. Ship bumper stickers, where it would put bumper stickers on your ship based on games you had downloaded. A me, a me bubble, a screenshot tool? Everyone thought Prince of Persia Lost Crown was the first one to do that. I guess fucking Metroid Prime 3 did it first. Well, whatever. We, we can get all this stuff. We can get the soundtrack, at least. Thank God. It just, that's just... That's just... I don't know, I don't like that. It happens. I can, I can play Bree- Oh, that's too loud! Okay, alright. Let's just, uh, jump back into the game then, what do you say? Yeah. Lost content, we're not missing out on much, especially since people have archived it. It's a good thing it's not lost media. Alright, back- back in the cockpit, back in the, back in the game. We're gonna head over to the pirate homeworld. And end this once and for all. Sounds great. Yep. I am excited. There's one- Thing I want to show off first. You, you know the thing. I know the thing. Yeah, the thing. Yeah. Well, let's talk about everything I I missed. So, for a bit of background, Metroid Prime Three has this very interesting thing, and I think it's the only Prime game that does this, where certain enemies that appear in earlier areas actually change the further along you get in the game. Metroid Prime One and Two did that too. There'd be enemies that would be phased out. So yeah, there are missable. Uh, scans. So I have missed a total of five, not including what we're about to get here in the, the last world, but I missed Aurora 217. And where can we find this? You can find him at Elysia, okay. but uh, if you finish the area without scanning him, he then shuts himself off and you can't scan him. Okay, so that's so missable. Missed. Number two, uh, the Demo Troopers. I, th I, oh, thought, I, I thought I scanned one! <laughs> Oops. Which which leads into Pirate Commander as another missable scan. Okay. So and well. I thought I scanned him too, but stupid. I could have probably scanned those guys. That's all right. It's all right. But uh, so the way where we're heading out here is uh, there it is, right there. And to get there, we have to go here and go in through there. But I'm going a roundabout way. Trust me, I know where I'm going. It's okay. It's 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 fine. Don't worry about it. The other thing I another thing I missed was uh, the Shield Pirate Trooper. I thought you got that. I thought I got that too. One of, the, one of the first space pirates in the game, and shield. I didn't scan him? Are you serious? It's... It's way too late now! Oh, that's hilarious. Well, as as you mentioned to me, it's not towards 100%. If you're going for 100% scans in a game that can't truly be 100%ed these days, it, you're not missing out on much if you don't get it. I don't even think that you get anything for getting 100% for the logbook. It only adds to metals. So, it's just a way to buy... Yeah. 100% of the items that you actually can't get anymore. Exactly, but why they locked it all behind friend vouchers, which has no bearing on how the game actually works. Like, I need to do more, I need to do more simple friend vouchers than I do with the actual game. It's, that's dumb. Why would you do it like this? I just say this is, you know, reconciliation for Super Metroid and missing one collectible. <laughs> now I missed like five. Uh, another thing I missed was, uh, there may have been like an assault arrow trooper maybe I missed. Oh, well. And also a night barb. Oh, wait, I actually got that one. So just a couple, a couple pirates, a couple small things that eventually just die off, apparently, or go into the room. Yeah, but it's no big deal. But what is a big deal is this scan right here. <gasps> yeah! Woo! So we all thought, oh, it's happening, it's happening, that's the next game, and it never happened. Until 2021. So that was in the DS era, DS3DS era. 
It was when they were kind of working on it. And that room has, like, uh, al allusions to Samus' previous missions. Like, you know, here's one from SR388, here's one from Talon 4, here's one from Planet Z, so, you know, that kind of stuff. And, oh, Project Dread! So we think, oh, that that's the one, that's, that's the one! That's so cool! But Dread was trying to come out for, like, multiple console generations. <laughs> and that Because it, it, the, the technology just wasn't there. Well, I'm glad we got what we got, because we got something. And it just happened to be, you know, a really kick-ass game. Oh, it kind of revitalized the Metroidvania franchise, or, uh, genre. I mean, it's not like it was dead. It was just... I don't know, you, you put the paddles on the heart, and it just went... Ugh! Okay, we're back. Yeah, we've always had Metroidvanias, but it's just kind of weird that after Metroid Dread came out, I'm getting all these Metroidvanias coming my way. I mean, I just played Cookie Cutter the, uh, this, uh, you know, uh, just, just this past couple months. Uh, Prince of Persia, Lost Crown, just went through that. I can't wait for... What's that, uh... uh Cow, I think it's called? Something like that, yeah. I mean, yeah, they've, they've always been there. They just came back. Like, hello again, old friend. Good to see you. I think it's the best kind of game to make for any, for any low-budget developer. I will say, uh, Dread, I think that's the fastest I've ever seen a randomizer come out for a game. <laughs> what is that, a month after the game came out? Holy crap. So there's one last leg of this map that we haven't explored yet. The, just the the one blue part of the map. Because we need the hyper grapple for that. Yeah, I'm glad we didn't need... Or we didn't have to get any collectibles at this point. I'm glad we have everything. Yep, we, get, we got everything. All the pickups are picked up. And that's all the game really, really counts. Cool shot of her with the hazard suit. I like it, I like it. So are we going to look over the bumper stickers, by the way? I know we actually have people who collected images of those. I mean, it, it's not lost media because people have, like, archived what the galleries are and all the shit bumpers, but, you know... It's for, unobtainable. You could obtain it through emulation oh, okay. and using something called Reconnect24, but then we'd have to get your Wii and mod it so that we would do that. have to get my Wii and mod that. Do you, do you have a copy of Metroid Prime 3? You need that too, and then we have to connect that and trade hmm. back and forth. It's just too much work, and I'm, I'm not going to put that much work in for for these bozos that didn't future-proof their game. I wonder if Trilogy did. Nope. No, it didn't. So I got to go the long way around here because uh, there's a grapple door that we could have opened, but you know, we got to go the long way. You know, it's it's okay. But fortunately, Prime Three is solid on its own. Without the needless friend vouchers, this would have been nice if you would have been able to unlock that with the merits that I've had in my playthrough throughout the game, instead of <laughs> locking it behind your nonsensical internet capabilities that they didn't even really need. Stop trying to pick a fight with collectibles that can't be obtained anymore. It's fine. No, it isn't! Yeah. It would have been some cool stuff, too. I would have liked to have the mean bobblehead. It is really funny what games were compatible to get some of the bumper stickers. It, it was uh, Wii Sports. Yeah, I've got them right here for you. Yeah, it was uh, Wii Sports, Excite Truck, Twilight Princess, okay. WarioWare Smooth Moves, Wii Play, Super Paper Mario, Mario Party 8, and Metroid Prime 3. Yeah! As well as Mario Galaxy and Super Smash Bros. Brawl. That's... Which, which were released after Prime 3. So they must have internally known those games were coming. I mean, they're working on them. I might as well. That's so interesting. So we know where the Leviathan is. The Leviathan knows where Phase is. So if we hack into the Leviathan, we can get into Phase. We're in. I was hoping we would talk to the Leviathan and just kind of diplomatically say, Lead me to phase, please. <laughs> or else. Oh, there is no diplomacy here. Damn it. There's never diplomacy anywhere in I am an, games. I am ambassador. I am prime minister. I am chancellor. I am, I am all branches of government and parliament. I am important. <laughs> just tell me where I need to go, man. All right, I don't want to shoot you. Okay, here's where you go. You go into this vent right here. 
<laughs> you gotta stop leaving these completely circular vents around here, and it's, it's not good, man. You know, sometimes panic bombing. I do tend to panic bomb every now and again. Just want to make sure it hits. Just gotta make sure. So do that. Up in here. Up in here. It's another warp. I haven't seen one of these in a hot minute, honestly. Hi, Leviathan. Loading. Ah. There we go. <laughs> Is this inside the Leviathan? Yep. Just go ahead and put it here and just... Uh... Excuse me, friend. I would like to speak to you about your car's extended warranty. Oh, that's... That's it? We did it. Uh, hold that thought, computer. Let me go ahead and come back to Earth. Well, not really Earth, but, you know... Familiar territory. Hack into the big bad Metroid Metroid. <laughs> <laughs> Samus, we have gained control of the Leviathan. That was a pirate code now we'll we needed. we'll be able to open a wormhole ah. and warp to phase. It's time to end this. Yes, it is. Once you rendezvous with the fleet, we'll head straight into the belly of the beast. I look forward to fighting alongside you again, Samus. Godspeed. Now, here is where the game goes, all right. Right there is the point of no return. You go there, you ain't coming back. You got any unfinished business? Do it now. That's nice. And I would say the biggest thing you want to get are E-Tanks. The game's been doing real good about having E-Tanks along the way, but if, but, and they even highlighted where all the collectibles are and all the E-Tanks are. You should have no problems now. Should. You should have no problems now. But I mean, why would you have any problems? I mean, it's just go to the last world, beat the final boss, and get out, right? It's that easy. It's that easy. It's always been that easy, actually. But I'm gonna give you a little little nudge from your buddy UDJ here. Before you go to phase, get all the me tanks. You'll be glad you did. At least ten. <laughs> oh. In case you needed more confirmation, it was the point of no return. This one actually spells it out for you. See, I think Nintendo wanted to make Metroid appealable to everybody. And that's why we had to take some some liberties and uh, into the freedom of exploration. We had to get handheld. We had to get we had to be told uh, certain things. Try and make it more appealable to everybody. I honestly think it's just good design because back in the day, if you hit a point of no return and you didn't know, well, you're stuck. That's true. But I mean, compared com like comparing from uh, Prime Two to Prime Three, it just it just feels a bit more restrictive, I guess. I think one of the worst point of no returns I've ever seen is the one in Earthbound. Where you're in the final boss area, and if you run out of items, you're fucked. I thought Fable 3 was one of the worst ones. <laughs> now, that's worse for a different reason. The, the one in Earthbound you don't know is coming, although they do kind of spell it out for you. The one in Fable 3 is just stupid. <laughs> it's coming on these days. All right, fast forward! I know! <laughs> Basically... Here, make a couple of selections and finale. All right, wait, cool. Wait, wait, no, wait, I don't want to do. I want to do. I want it more to do. Wait a minute. At the very least, make it a command. It's just like, would you like to wait patiently for the big bad to come? Uh, sure. All right, off to the final world. The final confrontation. Of the final game of the Metroid Prime series. Of the f <laughs> the final fight of the final Metroid game. Metroid Prime 4 doesn't exist until I actually see a release date, damn it. I hope that Metroid Prime Remastered wasn't what became of Prime 4. Oh That's kind of, that's kind of the, the the fear in my heart right now. Wow. It's like they could they couldn't make Prime 4 work, so, so we'll just remaster just the first one. Again? <laughs> Which I guess I would be okay with. No, you wouldn't. Be, you're you're not okay with it. I'd, I'd be better with you it. You know how I know you're not okay with it? Because you haven't beaten it yet. Well, because I'm playing this. No, oh, that's true, that's true. I want to dedicate my time to one prime at a time, you see. No. All right. Let's go. 
Let's make this wormhole! Samus' ship has joined the fleet. Thank you, Ensign. Leviathan Command, you are clear to fire the portal beam. Once the wormhole is open, order all ships to enter. Affirmative, Admiral. Yes, you know something I noticed about this game, too? This has more cutscenes than any other Metroid game ever. It feels like even more than Other M. Or at least more stuff happens in these cutscenes in Other M. Well, I'm also thinking that this is another... I wouldn't say it's a symptom of a sickness that was happening around 2007, but, you know, bombastic, war, 2007. Halo 3. PS3. Resistance Fall of Man. <laughs> just all that. You couldn't get away with just a simple bare-bones Metroidvania. Correct. Not in this sort of uh, landscape that we're in. Not in this time of of gaming history. You, you, you couldn't get away with another Prime 2 Echoes. Correct. Which is probably why they went for this... Uh, this direction, which this is cool. I got I got no problems here. I mean, this is this is awesome and badass. I do like this. Yes, they saw us coming. <laughs> oh, they knew. That's, they knew. That's bad. That's bad. So where are we? Oh, there we are. Yeah, we're just gonna sneak on by and uh, penetrate through all your defenses. Hope you guys don't mind. See ya. What do you mean you can't find her anymore? She entered the atmosphere already! Son of a bitch! Come on! Come on, guys! What did Her I kick you over for? Her ship looks different than all the others! I figured you'd aim for that one first! It looks like her own doom, dumb, stupid helmet! And she's got the hazard suit on it, doesn't look like that. You. Well, joke's on them. I've, I've made landfall and I am here on phase! And surprisingly, let's it, put an end to this. It didn't phase you one bit. I think I forgot something, though. Whoop! That's right. I am up to my eyeballs in sickness and corruption. I think coming here might have been the worst thing for it. Yeah, ga, ga, ga. It's bubbling a little bit. It's bubbling. It's getting bigger. I have a strange feeling this means constant hyper mode. <laughs> That's not good at all. <laughs> Vent the energy tanks! All of them? Right! Got it! See, the thing that the others didn't know about their PED suit is that the, the, it has a rapid release thing, or so it just vents everything. So we're taking all of our energy tanks and we're just kind of expelling everything out of them. And now everything is just this gold bar. Bro! If, if that gold bar fills all the way up, you're dead. Due to critical levels of internal phase on corruption, the emergency vent override has been triggered by the pet suit. All acquired energy tanks have been vented to temporarily prevent total corruption. Hyper mode weapons no longer require the extinguishing of an energy tank to use. You are now permanently in hyper mode. I knew it. Permanent hyper mode at the... It's, it's perfect. But at the expense of a constantly ticking clock that you can lower. Damage as well as exposure to phases atmosphere will continue to raise your phase on level. And if it reaches the top... If your phase on level fails completely, you will die. <laughs> That's actually a nice pinpoint in this entire thing. I'm guessing we the... can't even get in our ship. So go with me on this. The number of E tanks is how much extra time you get on the yellow bar. Is that correct? I wanna I wanna think that's the case, cause we're not gonna have any problems. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think so. So scan the door here. Oh Jesus. We can use just yeah, everything we do in hyper mode is now just always there. So, is it a ticking clock, or can we shoot to expel? You cannot shoot to expel. So it's constantly going up. It is constant, but there are things you can do to help with this with this beam. Okay, good. Of course, uh, picking up uh, free flowing uh, energy that that helps it. Oh, it does. Okay, cool. Uh, oh. the, the grapple. That can that can dispel some of it as well. Ah, uh, okay. So th there are methods. There are methods. There are indeed methods. And uh, see, see, it's it seems scary at first, but if you have all the all the pickups, and uh, you know what to do, you'll be just fine. I love that. It's 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 meant to, to intimidate you rather than be truly scary. Like this is not dark ether bad. I mean, this is still kind of bad. It's, it's, I mean, it's, it's bad. It's real bad, but it's not dark ether bad because you don't even have a uh, limited en uh, en energy ammo for your beams. You can take the phasings and you can, uh, perhaps them. them immediately, yeah. And that take, and that helps with your, with your, uh, yellow bar as well, your phase on corruption. Oh, I love this. 
If you just, uh, Jesus. just kind of keep moving. Don't stop, don't you stop. Should, you should be fine. Okay, just grab those every so often to reset everything. God, even though this is kind of... Like, it has the makings of a... Screw had to fuck me over one of time. Of a dark... I don't want to say, like, dark brooding part of the game, because a lot of games were doing something like this around that time. Look how colorful <laughs> this is compared to everything else. It's very distinct. It, it, it is deliberate. Like, those are, like, shiny blues and not just, like, dark blues. But it's it's it still invokes danger. Ow! Yeah, use Hyper Ball for these. You, you, uh, the game is teaching you something new. Blow up all these red things and the big thing blows up. Once again, blow up all these little red things. Well, I mean, this is technically also following Metroid formula of giving you, like, big the badass powers up. at the end of the game. Yeah. I mean, this is remember? fine. You remember? Oh, here we, oh, here we go. Who are you? Scan this guy. There's another way to take care ah! of your production. This is a Phazon Puffer. <laughs> he absorbs Phazon and then blows at you. Whoa, that's a lot. That's a lot. But then he sucks it right back up. Oh, really? Uh-huh. Okay. Th oh, that's interesting. So that's, so, I mean, that would have been better if I had actually, you know, not let him fire, but... Well, that's fine, that's fine. It's, it's a way to really reduce your, your phase on levels. <laughs> it was for the sake of example. Of course, of course. Oh, boy, that's a big old phase on mine if I ever seen it. Ow, ow, ow. I wonder if I, I, I wonder if anybody else in the Federation who still ha has their uh, PED suit, I wonder if they even attempt to come close to this thing. Because I have a feeling it just auto corrupts them, and then they're just like, "Well, I tried." Well, after seeing what happened with the other bounty hunters, would they even still have one? No, oh, I would rip that stuff off me. It's like, uh, big, big no, big no, Captain. I don't think so. What do you mean using phase on corrupts them? Uh, I'm I'm out of there. If we do things right, it will it'll stop working here soon. Tangle weeds over there. Right, remember, little red things. Blow them up. Boom. Boom. Dap, dap, dap. Oh, even the big red thing. Oh, that's going to kill the small uh, Small red things kill big red thing. See? The game is teaching you. Even at the final world, we're still learning new things. Wow! You can't shoot these things? Oh, right. Duh. Don't worry, I pieced it together. We're fine. That's good. Ow! Again, again! Oh, I think there's a phase on Puffer here. So I saw the, my, uh... Yeah. Saw my, uh, health bar flash a little bit. Where is he at? Oh, phase on Puffer. There he is. Come here. There you are, buddy. Thank you. Now perish. <laughs> I don't want you to. Don't want you to get too too comfortable there. You know. Oh my God. Oh God. Oh God. Stop it. Don't, Stop it. Ah! Stop it. Hyper ball, take that guy out. None of that. None of that. This place is evil. And we fit right in. We don't want to fit right in. This is a this is a scary place. I guess I'm not surprised that there is nothing but Metroids here. And that's just an eyeball. Am I, am I seeing that right? It's an eyeball that's hiding behind some plating, so he's just being coy. Oh, just what the me. actual hell! It's like a whack-a-mole door. I, I I hate it. Do that. Oh! Yeah, I really hate that. Just reminds me of the eye doors from Super Metroid. Yeah, never do that again. All right, now to see if your health is in good shape. Got a bit of a long encounter just shooting a bunch of these guys. Nothing too bad, but they keep coming. Probably just a, uh, what we like to call a choke point. I would say so. But I really think that having all the E-tanks adds up. It looks like missiles are working well for you. Because we have not even reached a quarter of the way yet. Holy cow. We haven't even been close, either. I find that hard to believe. And look, even if you got even if you got the Lurgy, you can use these things, grab on, and just, just spell it right there. It's just... No problems. It's easy. Okay. Take your family here for vacation. It's easy. Another... 
This is a thumbs up in my book. You give the player a really hard area and oh. definitely give them challenge. Like this right here, I see the challenge. But on the other hand, you're super ultra powerful, but still vulnerable, if that makes sense. Yes, I mean, it takes Phazon to kill Phazon, so... Fight fire with fire. There you go. Hi, Metroids. Da, 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 da. What's up, disgusting fuckers? Wee! <laughs> We're going so far into phase. I hate it. To the core, Niskel. I hate To the core. The doors have teeth, for God's sake. Ah! That's how evil this place is. All right, last room before the final boss. I, I'm sorry, what? Last room. I thought you said we weren't close. This is the core of the Leviathan. Are you fucking kidding? Oh. We gotta, so we gotta go we gotta into... Gotta go blast that shit. Either side here, there will be Metroids pouring out constantly. So rip that out, and there's something in there. I hope it's Dark Samus. No. no. It's essentially... Oh, I uh, see it. Yeah. That oh. Thing. That I could uh, scan the thing that it's the in. The sides but... of the organ have been ripped off. Ew. You see it, right? You see it, right? Yeah, it's That little, thing there. We gotta kill that little thing. pest. It's a little pest. It takes a lot of hits, and it changes between sides. Oh, it's a heart mite. Oh. It's called, it's called a Leviathan Infant. Oh, are they making Leviathans here in Phase? I mean, I that think, makes sense. I think they are. Let's see if I can. Can't yeah, can you get a? Can you get? Yeah, I think he's going on the other side. Oh, wait, wait! I think he just. Ex uh, come on. Come here, buddy. Hi, Metroid. Come on, you poisonous axolotl. Hi, Metroid. Hi, Metroid. Yeah, he went on the other side. I gotta scan this guy for whatever reason. Here we go. Leviathan Infant! Phase on within it, highly unstable. That sounds like Goes Boom when dead. I like Goes Boom when dead. But it's somebody else, though. Oh, right. It's, it's not us Go Boom make dead. Yes. <laughs> it's entire planet Go Boom make dead. Takes a lot of hits, though, I just gotta say. Hey, hey, hey! So, I would like to, uh, since we're coming up to the end of currently the last Metroid Prime game, I would like to remind everybody that when this game came out, uh, YouTube videos were still uh, about 10 minutes maximum life. 10 minutes was like a feature film in those days. Who, who else remembers watching subbed anime three parts at a time? Three parts at a time, who remembers Let's Plays that were over a hundred episodes for what currently for us takes 19 to 20 episodes. Yeah! Amazing. One, one last refresh of energy in case you need it. <sighs> Some gel sacs to help out with that, I'm sure. Yeah. And let's finish this thing! I love how it picked you back up out of the pit you jumped into just to let you superhero dive we, down there. We, we gotta do it right. Yeah. We gotta do it correctly. Like, she screw attacks back out of the pit and just goes, hey, wait a minute, I can do this better. Oh! I knew it! There she is. Sup, bitch? Dark Samus! You ready? Alright, you've had this coming for a long time. Corrupting me was the dumbest thing you could do because you're piss easy. I don't think she realizes just how screwed her entire operation was the moment she corrupted us. I think she thought that I would die to it, but no, it only made me stronger. I think we also kind of got lucky. I am here to sell you on charged hyperbeam shots. Okay. Sell me on it. Okay, yeah, holy crap. <laughs> Now she does this thing where I think she's trying to get some health back or whatever, because she's like siphoning uh, Phazon from the environment around Air her. Phazon, yeah. She's got a shield up there. I think it's healing her a little bit. It, look, it looks like yes, it is. Yes, it is, it is. She had enough times, then she gets stunned. So, oh, fuck with me. Let me, let me put something into perspective. Huh. 
If Samus didn't have her suit on at the moment of corruption, Dark Samus would have won. Like if she didn't have the power suit, if it was zero suit corruption? Yes. I honestly think she would have won at that point. I think she would have been out for two months. Uh, I, d do we have bird blood in us? Yes. Hmm. So how is the how is the power going? I thought our like suit was corrupted. I know we're corrupting. We have the like suit is part of us though. That was the whole thing in, uh, in Metroid Fusion because uh, she got hit with an X parasite in her suit. It uh, fused her basically because her suit was so bio uh, so so made for her ingrained in her. They couldn't. They couldn't sort of be removed part of the suit. Basically. Oh, that's true. That's true. Okay, so same thing happens here. That makes sense. Except I think it's really in my organs this time. No, it's it's totally in your heart. You're about to. Your heart's about to explode. I think my taste buds are growing phase on it. <laughs> <laughs> scrape scrape my tongue. My fingernails got some got some light blue <laughs> residue on them. Ugh. Wipe it on the couch and then it starts growing there. I, I do think that if we had casual Samus just walking around, like if she got jumped at her house, like <laughs> I'm thinking that that's when game over happens. But should have got her as a civvy, exactly. not, as a, not as a soldier. Yeah, not as a soldier. What the hell are you doing, woman? The best Jeez. the best time to take Samus down with Phazon was before the game started when she was still sleeping. Exactly. But that still wouldn't work because she was dreaming of you. You can't stop the- you can't stop the goat! You can't stop the goat! <laughs> oh, now she's flying around. Trying to delay the inevitable. I do like this boss fight. This is really cool. Oh, yeah, it's cool. It's great. I like how she's duplicating herself at a phase on or... I'm assuming just... Like, all of this can just be explained with phase on Just hand wave it away a little bit. It's, yeah, it's re replicating and all that kind of stuff. It's, 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 oh my god, you are so gone. You are so done. And, and she knows this, so they're trying to do the healing thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nope. Too late! You can't beat the original. Of course, Dark Samus knows this, and now we've got her in a corner. Oh! Hello. So now she's gonna use the Aurora unit that they stole from the Valhalla. Dark Samus repulsed. Ugh. She hates Ugh. you. So then she fuses herself with the Aurora unit, and now things are about to get terra bad. For her! Final boss, go! This is Aurora Unit 313! I don't know why she did this. This was the dumbest thing she could have done. So, kill tentacles, shoot place where tentacle was, or...? I, I, I want to think that uh, the Dark Samus fight was supposed to be the difficult one. And this, with no way of relieving your uh, your Phazon buildup, is supposed to be, you know, a home stretch of the finish. Like, oh, can you do it in time? Can you do it in time? You're about you're about half corrupted. Can you, then you can take this final boss on. Oh Jesus! Because then you rip it open. I'm gonna sell you on charged hyper beam shots again. Oh my God! Still about a uh, done correct. This is still about a three cycle boss. So can you live long enough for three cycles? So you're also selling on getting all the E-Tanks because, yeah, we we haven't even gone to half. I mean, I can't sell you on getting all the E-Tanks because, you know, be like, Hey, sir, uh, would you like to be hydrated? <laughs> Try drinking water. Holy shit, we got all the Gatorade bottles at the game. Look how hydrated we are. Don't have enough health? Hey, get more health. <laughs> So oh my god, it's so simple when you say it out loud! So then she throws a Dark Samus clones your way. They don't take much, it's just kind of a way to, uh, again, uh, build up that corruption, you know? Can't really keep track of where she is, though. But uh, now I see she's that rolling ball there. It's alright, though, it's alright. So you can either uh, kill them all, or it's, she just kind of gives up and says, Okay, we'll try the technical thing again, and all well, that didn't work. And when that doesn't work, well... Let me tear up in your head again. Mm, yeah. Oh, it worked, it worked. All right, and Fire! unload. Still gonna take about one good shot to finish it off for good. Yes, 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 yes. Come on, make a move. All right. This beam isn't even that hard to avoid. It doesn't even track you or anything. 
Oh, what's this now? Come on! Face your death like a... Uh, you, you, you look like the skull of a crawfish, really. It dies! Oh my god, I see it! Come on, come on, come on. Come on. There we go. Alright, this is over. This is and... over. Open up your head, try to turn to the hyper beam, and take all that! Woo! Alright! But it's not over yet. Of course! We just killed the spine, now we gotta kill the head! <laughs> this, is, this isn't a scan, but... Oh, I love it! Now it has a, a constantly exposed weak point in the back of its head. Oh, that's great! You can, uh, you can weaken it and stun it, so that way you can take even more shots. Shoot that sucker in the back of the head! Not only that, I think it's dropping some uh, health pickups when it did that, so... Again, no problem with the, with the phase on corruption. I think, I think we've got it under control. Come on. A little bit better defense this time around, but again, constantly exposed weak point. Oh, it's even got lasers! <laughs> Holy crap! This seems like a desperation move. Okay, that's more a desperation move. It's like, I'm gonna spin around a whole bunch! Which means to sell you again on charged hyper beam shots, just uh, while, while it's spinning, just shoot it, you'll hit it eventually. Oh, it does get, so much damage! Just get gone, man! Lord, it does so much damage! So yeah, I'd say Dark Samus' fight was the hardest part. And this is just... Just a victory lap at this point, come on! Oh, I love it. And do we have a win? Almost. Almost. So close. We, and... Oh, oh, one more shot! Come on, come on, come on! Come on. on. There Yay. it is! And that is Metroid Prime 3 in the books! Okay, I was trying to find an answer on that whole E-Tank thing, and I couldn't find it, so... I was paying attention to the fight. I loved it. Well, you should get all the E-Tanks anyway. I mean, that's just a smart thing to do. That is true. Oh, it's like... Oh! Oh, she's pissed. Ah! I think we overloaded the system. Dark Samus is about to cry. I don't think I've ever seen her that much agony. Oh, did that do it? Did, did, I think that, she... Ah! I think she busted into rain. Yeah, oh, that uh, that did do it. Oh, good. She was the source of our corruption. Oh, oh. Well, we did it. Well, it's a good cool. thing we have the hazard suit on. Otherwise, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Oh dear, it's all oh, coming down. Oh, this place is. How do we get out now? Well, and then the nuke was trapped. <laughs> oh shit. The well, Leviathan that's run on Phazon isn't working anymore, so that's out. I imagine everybody's pet suit is like, eh, 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 eh. Sir, we have confirmed unstable energy spikes in multiple locations on the planet. It's a chain reaction. It's accelerating. The Son of a bitch, she did it! Yes! Oh, the fleet and then they hear, oh, the sir, the planet's exploding. Activate get the fuck out! Get the, that's what he's doing! Get the fuck out! Turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around, go, go! Oh, I thought that we were actually about to see the ship go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, turn around and go. All right, wormholes open. Let's get out get of here. Get out! Get out! Dramatic finish. Dramatic finish. I want to see it. Go! 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 <laughs> oh, that's our last way out of here. If that thing dies, we're never getting out. No! Oh, no! Oh, come on! How quickly can we run? Da 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 da. Out of here! Ooh, that got deatomized. Holy cow. <sighs> Sheesh. Did she make it? Well, I mean... It's the last Metroid Prime game for a reason. Sir, we've confirmed the reason, the there's a reason why it's not canon. I know when you're lying to me, by the way. The what are you talking about? I don't even have to look at you. What are you talking about? I could just tell by the tone of your voice. Negative, sir. No contact. No contact? 
but I know, and you know, and he knows. Yeah. We'll see her in Florida. There she is! <laughs> What's up, boys? Thumbs up! Oh, she got rid of the hazard suit. We're receiving a transmission from Samus. Well, no, ship. we gotta do what Samus does whenever she saved the day. Gloat. Immediately get the fuck out! Mission complete, doesn't even send a voice, just sends a text, yes. and bye! <laughs> that, that was fun, guys. Okay, bye. <laughs> Every time. Mission solved, bye. I gotta go home and watch Grey's Anatomy. I was about to say, she's still outrunning all of her court marshals. So here Apparently. is your... So oh, okay, yeah. Here is your 75% ending, I think. 75%? Yes. Okay. Take that, off the helmet. That's her... Have a little sit-down in Skytown and remember our fallen friends. Yeah, that's her new design it's as Rundus, of uh, corruption. It's Dark Samus's power basically just comple Kill. completely abused. Yeah, killed them all. Gore, gentle Gore, who knew all about the robotics around us. His corruption he was... He threw my goddamn ship. Th threw my ship, completely ruining his, his character. And then, of course, Scandrata. Dearest Scandrata that... Well, she kind of deserved it, but hey, you know, still, I mean, she didn't deserve this, probably. Pew. All these fallen friends. All because of Phazon. All for what? But... Unamused. We, we remember them, at least. And we always will. Because Memory without deleted. Them, <laughs> without them, maybe we wouldn't be here sitting here today. So thank you, friends. And rest easy. And you had a whole script ready for that, didn't you? T poopy fart fart. Anyway, <laughs> that was Metroid Prime 3 Corruption. Cool. You know, there's a there's a time there I'd say that this, you know, this was my favorite Metroid game for years. Years and years. This is my favorite. And now after replaying the Prime series, I think I like 2 a little better. Bob! See, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. See, and, and, well, remember, I was, I was like, what, 17 years old when this game came out? Yes. So if you, so it, like, a, a, a first-person shooter that's, you know, cinematic and it's action and all, and cutscenes and all that, well, I'm, I'm the hell on board. But now that I've grown and I've become a man now and I'm sure and I ruminate on things and... <laughs> Have a, have a better appreciation for world design and maps and exploring and all that. I see the the, the charm in two. Not to say that three isn't a bad game. It's it's just a bit more streamlined to have people have an easier time moving into a Metroidvania. I will say this is probably the one that most people played because the Wii sold gangbusters compared to the GameCube, and they were kind of low on titles starting out, on, on, on real excellent good titles. What were what were some of our first games? We had WarioWare Smooth Moves and this. It was, it was Smooth Moves, it was Wii Sports, of course. And uh, then Tra Trauma Center was one Trauma of them. Trauma Center was one of them, and I uh, remember... So Sonic and the Secret Rings was mine. Fuck off. <laughs> I remember when you got this. Yeah. Because you showed me the Ridley fight. You mm -hmm. were like, dude, I gotta show you this, and I was like, oh, dude, this is cool. And then I never got it. So uh, being able to see all the Metroid Prime games and now having a greater appreciation for them and actually owning close to all of them. One and a half of them. One and a half of them. I got Trilogy and Metroid Prime Remastered and uh, the original Metroid Prime, I think. You got a demo for Prime 2. I did! Yeah! <laughs> I do have a demo for Prime 2. Oh, that counts. Has ended. However, in the vast regions of space, this victory is just a twinkle of a star. Spreading the light of hope through the darkness. So that either means that uh, Samus did a good and everybody liked that, or maybe the phase on corruption isn't entirely gone. I mean, their entire planet's been obliterated, and the ringleader for corrupting other people... They, they have a really sl slim chance of coming back, let's say that. We don't know how far this Phazon thing goes. Like, you know, it, like, the universe is a real, real big place. Galactic Federation space only goes so far. That's true, that's true. I, it's really weird to recognize a lot of those actors, by the way. Oh, I know. Brian Jepsen? What's up, Clayton Sab Kios? I didn't... What? Of all places. What's up, Sabbath? <laughs> Edwin Neal? THE Edwin Neal? Dude, Satoru Iwa- Actually, wait. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Hey, wait a minute. Oh, this is cool. This- I, I will say, even though I haven't played this game, this did take me back to 2006, 2007. It is- it is just nice. 
I think that's the main reason I, I like doing Let's Plays, especially of games from our past. It's just like, man, let's, let's just kick, kick back and go to a better, uh, well, better time. Let's, let's just go back to a time. So I, I just do it because I want to show you this fun game. And also, yeah, I'm going to show you a freaking awesome game, and that was freaking awesome. Oh, the tendrils are getting closer. Ew. They're becoming more animated as well. If they touch, we get Metroid Prime 4! <laughs> touch! <laughs> touch! Push them together! Come on! Squeeze the, squeeze the aspect ratio all the way! Do it! <laughs> yeah, if we actually get Metroid Prime 4, which I, I keep saying the joke... At the moment we finish Metroid Prime 3, it'll happen, and then we just recently had a direct and it didn't happen, so... It was, it was a partner direct. I know, it was a partner direct, so it's just like... Uh, I still like the theory I heard that uh, Metroid Prime 4 is going to be the bridge between an updated Switch and the old Switch, a la Twilight Princess. Which... They sound, nah. Nah. It would help sell the new hardware. Nah. For what do you mean? It's either going to be on the Switch as a swan song, or it's going to be on the new console. They're not, they're not going to put a bridge for Metroid. Nintendo? No way. You they don't love Metroid that much. You know, starting with Zelda and ending with Metroid would be very interesting. Oh, the tendrils didn't touch! Ah, oh, well. Damn it! I guess we'll never get it then. But mission final! I thought it was going to say mission failed. <laughs> Congratulations, man. 100% logbook be damned. That unlocks hyper mode. Isn't that just pure hyper mode all the time? I think it's just hard. Hard is mode? It, is it on hyper mode all the oh, time? Oh, I don't know. That'd be fun. Like, you have to keep yourself alive constantly. That'd be interesting. You never have to inject E tanks or you have to collect E tanks to stay alive. To have the gold bar the whole time. Oh, all right. Now for our 100% ending. She just looks so done 100% of the time. I love it. Well, this is when they kind of developed who Samus was because of Brawl. Hell yeah. Well, I'm done with this place. D don't look at the camera. <laughs> it's weird. Uh, that was fun. That was it. It was fun. It was a good game. Thanks for bringing me along for... All the Metroid games that matter. Well, thanks for watching all the Metroids up until now, and hopefully, with any hope, friends, we'll be back for another one someday soon. Ah. Well, I, I guess we finished the game, but that ship? That's been a mystery for 15 years. Is it supposed to be something for Prime 4? Is that Silex from Hunters? Mm. Who could that be? Who knows? Well, see you Wednesday for the finale of the Metroid series.